Vasil Stus was a poet, writer, human rights defender and steadfast advocate of Ukrainian independence. On September the 4th, 1985, he died in a Siberian forced labour camp after 13 years in detention for his anti-Soviet activity. A new film called Zaboronini, translated from Ukrainian as Prohibited, is dedicated to his life and struggle. Although the movie is based on real events, the production team used artistic license. Many of the characters are based on real people. Karina Shereverova plays Alla Horska, a renowned distant artist and friend of Vasil Stus, who was murdered in 1970 because of her pro-Ukrainian views. This role was rather difficult for me, but I tried to perform it as real to life as I could. The director and screenwriters helped me because when I began to study information about Horska, it turned out there was very little of her available. Even though the woman was amazing and worthy of a separate movie. Friends and contemporaries of Vasil Stus attended the premiere. Some were consulted during the script writing process. I'm thinking what to say about our friendship which has illuminated my whole life and the life of my children, about the friendship that prompted all of my subsequent activity for Ukraine. I owe all of this first and foremost to Vasil. I think that the youth who came to see this film will not live indifferent, and among them will appear people with Vasil's strength of mind and will. Dmitro Yaroshenko was given the honor to play Vasil Stus. He told reporters how he prepared for the role. In a word, I just lived. Before the film's official release, there was controversy surrounding a scene featuring a portrayal of Viktor Medvedchuk, the Ukrainian pro-Kremlin politician and godfather to Vladimir Putin's youngest daughter, was the lawyer of Vasil Stus. Medvedchuk's representatives demanded all references to the billionaire be removed, otherwise they would seek to get the film banned. After much public outcry, the trial remained in the film, but without mentioning Medvedchuk's name. When there is a historical personality involved who is still alive, you are required to get permission to use their name. Since this was problematic, the only thing we were allowed to do was to take the court records and just recreate what was said in court. When shooting this scene, we realized it may not be to someone's liking, but it's faithful to the case documents. The premiere was scheduled to coincide with the 34th anniversary of the poet's death. The movie about Vasil Stus and his struggle will be shown on the big screen all over Ukraine. Reported by Lubov Zadorozhna for UATV.